Welcome back to the channel. Day five of Sick Week. This is going to be a wrap. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. Let's recap. You saw we went to Big Cat Rescue and finished the drive to Bradenton. Did not find a reasonably priced hotel between Bradenton and Big Cat Rescue. So we ended up sleeping at a rest area and I made the co-pilot sit in the driver's seat so I could have more room on the other side. Uh, you know, you got to rest the driving talent the way I see it. So anyway, we get to the track super early. We just slept, I don't know, a few hours. I think we got to the rest area around 1, 1 1.30 and we're to the track by 8.30, 9 o'clock, something, something really early. The track's not hot till 2, so this is super early. It to give us the opportunity though to switch, switch the car around, put the carb on, and while the mufflers were still on it, I went zipping down the, the road there uh, by the track, romping on it, making sure that those um, accelerator pumps were primed and ready so that when I did get to the track, there were no excuses. And if I only got the one hit, then um, then we'd be good to go. We wouldn't have to throw that away and hit it again. So here we go. Morning of day five. Been acting silly since last night. Sounds like it's loading up or something, maybe with the fuel injection. We'll see if it does anything weird while we're going over this little bridge up here. But it just doesn't sound terribly happy. We think it might be fuel related. So we're going to try to get straight to the track. It's only 7.45. Track goes hot at 2. So hopefully the gates are open. We can do some stuff. Maybe put the car be on and uh, go run a couple errands, get some food in our bellies or something. Watch this person go straight over like an idiot. Okay, world of the internet. Should have started this video a moment ago. But here we are. My likeness, my automobile, were featured in a video earlier shot by Nino Brown. And the car, I believe, we just arrived and the pits didn't look like this yet. And I think he was saying that I'm not on time, blah, blah, blah. We're early for once, yada, yada, yada. So here we are, we have one race tire installed exhaust has been removed from this side the carby is in place the other drive tire is still sitting here holding down the canopy and here are all the tools I used to do the exhaust and the tire but guess who this is this is the hired gun who's supposed to be the crew master general he thinks he can just lay here because we got early I mean what is that about that's some BS. He thinks he's just here for sun and fun in the sun. And that's just not how it's supposed to be. So you can tell my frustration level is on nine, maybe nine five, about to go volcanic and erupt because the driving talent should be sitting here in this beautiful chair, enjoying the weather. But instead, I'm having a wrench in my own car. What a bunch of crap. when you think the event couldn't get any more interesting they're going around in the ice cream truck and they actually had ice cream so we're gonna enjoy a nice ice cream sandwich while we wait should be refreshing it's hot kind of muggy I'm kind of glad we're not on the track right now or sitting in staging lanes for four hours we're just chilling in the shade
So that's a wrap for day five in the books. Event is over. Uh, the NA class is like six subcategories. The recognition for the event, though, for naturally aspirated is going to go to the top three in any configuration. That's going to be small blocks and big blocks and pro street and modifieds and um, street race. So those kind of your, you combine those things and you get the, the six individual subcategories. I think unofficially in big block NA street race, we finished third uh, as a tech in at 10.0. We were finished with an average of 10.0. So very happy with that. I think that puts us in the top 100 and an opportunity to come back next year. I think that's a no-brainer. I think with the weather, the drives being as easy as they were. Other than that, I think a uh, very successful event for me. And I look forward to maybe doing it again, at least in 2023. If I'm allowed that early entry back, I think, again, that's going to be a no-brainer for me. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't seen the Easter egg in this video, there's some interesting stuff coming up from Big Block Bob. Thanks for watching.